Okay, before we get all pretentious, let me just say it's perfectly fine to drop a little ice into a glass and enjoy your favorite brown stuff. But I always suggest doing a proper tasting the first time you try a new whiskey. It helps you better understand your whiskey and truly appreciate the nuances of each. It all starts with the glassware. While this isn't critical, the right glass can improve the whiskey tasting experience significantly. That's why a Glencairn glass is preferred. Its wide base lets you swirl the whiskey around while the narrow opening concentrates the aromas for your sniffing pleasure. So pour yourself an ounce or two and give it a swirl. The first thing we want to examine is the smell, or what's referred to as the nose. Unlike wine, don't jam your beak into the glass. Whiskey has a much higher alcohol content, and such a move might knock you out. Kidding. Kind of. But if you singe your nose hairs, back off an inch or two and smell again. Pro tip. Keep your mouth open while you inhale. Don't try to search for anyone's scent. Let the aroma come to you, and always give it more than one whiff. Common aromas are wood, vanilla, spice, and nuts. Okay, now you're ready to taste. Take a small sip, like it's hot coffee. Think about the taste in general terms. Does it burn? Is it spicy or oily? Give it a minute. Then take a second sip and roll it around your mouth. Try to pick up on more specific flavors this time. When you feel like you've gotten a good taste, swallow it. That burning sensation you're picking up on? That's the finish. Notice if it's long, short, pleasant, harsh. All of those are fair descriptors, so take note of them. And that's it. You've tasted whiskey the proper way. Drink water in between tastings so you have a fresh palate each time. But most importantly, don't let others influence your experience. Whiskey is subjective so there are no wrong answers. The only thing you need to remember is to drink the whiskeys you love, no matter what they taste like. Cheers.